Hello everyone, uh, this is a case of a FECO in a grade 4 post-reporter cataract. So according to uh, Dalit Singh uh, classification, grade 4 PPC is when uh, the PPC is associated with nuclear sclerosis. Here also you can see that the nuclear sclerosis is uh, almost uh, grade 3 uh, sclerosis here. So now I'm initiating the capsular axis. Plan is to do capsule axis of around uh, 4.5 to 5 millimeter size. So after completing the capsular axis, as we have to avoid hydro dissection. I'm uh, I'm doing hydro delineation here after uh, removing some of the viscoelastics from the anterior chamber. I've had nucleus uh, rotation, so I'm uh, now initiating starting my fecal emulsification, emulsifying the superficial cortex so as to expose the endonucleus, making a short trench for burying the tape deep inside. Initiating my chop here. So second chop, one nucleus pi has been created. So with a little tilt of the pico tip, one can do the chops on both the sides. So in doing that, you can see that almost half of the cataract has been chopped. So this was possible uh, because the capsular axis was of adequate size. In a small capsular axis, this would have been quite uh, difficult. So now uh, I'm emulsifying the chopped pieces. So the remaining pieces, those who were separated, were held with the help of uh, FICO probe and with the help of second instrument, they were taken out from the bag and emulsified. This is the last piece. Without much rotation, the piece has been emulsified. So never allow the chamber to collapse, put viscoelastics before taking it out. Now here I am doing uh, uh, viscodissection. So viscodissection helps uh, in uh, uh, forming, not only forming a protective layer over the your posterior capsule, also it uh, helps in uh, prolaxing the epinucleus uh, from the fornix. So now I am using my bivalent irrigation aspiration cannula to uh, take out those Deep nucleus sheet which is quite thick one should not lose patience in uh, uh, during this stage because this is very crucial one can also use uh, <coughs> coaxial uh, uh, irrigation cannula also but uh, I, I feel bivinal irrigation as aspiration cannula though it takes a little bit of longer time but it maintains the chamber well nucleus is being removed with lower parameters you can see the dense posterior polar cataract So most of the epinucleus has uh, been removed now. So the, the last sheet underneath I am injecting viscoelastic so that it will push the uh, piece a little bit behind. And PC looks intact. So now I am planting a single piece lens within the capsular bag. So we have seen that a dense uh, cataract with posterior polar cataract has been uh, successfully conquered. Lens is placed in the capsular bag, hydrating the wounds and then removing the viscoelastics. Going below the eye well to take out the viscoelastics wash it out 
thorough visual memory is very important in all of the cases chamber is formed 